Hi, uh, I have known Manfred Leuchter for many years, actually, in his many capacities. As a producer, as an accordionist, as a composer, as an improviser, as a, as a brother, as a supporter, you, I mean, you name it. It has been an incredibly uh, beautiful ride, actually. Uh, we met first, uh, we met first musically before we met actually in person. Uh, many years back, 2005, I think, uh, a friend of a friend of ours, uh, beautiful singer Dima Orsho, uh, sent me an email. She she met actually uh, Manfred in a workshop in Damascus, and then uh, I think they played together. And, and then she sent me this uh, PDF of uh, one of Manfred's most beautiful pieces called Arabesque. And she told me, Kinan, you should meet this guy. You should play with this guy. He's incredible. And. Uh, and I was incredibly blown away by actually what I heard, and uh, and it was super exciting to to have a, like a musical discovery of Manfred's world and his musical life. Uh, Hiwar, my uh, my group Hiwar, which includes Dima Osho on voice and Isam Rafa on oud, uh, we wanted to do a residency, uh, and so I wrote Manfred out of the blue. I said, okay, uh, you, I don't think you know me, but but I know who you are. And I would like to invite you for residency in Damascus. Uh, this was back in 2006. If you'd like to come and play, and he, it didn't take him any time to respond and say yes, of course. And and we uh, worked together on the album Nine Days of Solitude, and it was an incredible musical journey together. And uh, since then, we played a lot. We played uh, in the Middle East. We played in Europe. We played in the U.S. We traveled a lot, and uh, and Manfred again. Uh, it's really inspiring to have him in your life uh, musically because he's a very he's very critical. He knows exactly what he wants and exactly what he doesn't want to do, and uh, and you know he pushed me in directions that I didn't see coming. I mean, one of my my pieces, uh, wedding, I realized later on that uh, is inspired actually by his arabesque. Uh, they have the similar structure and uh, somehow similar ideas. And uh, I like how how courageous he is on stage, and and the ideas that he creates musically using the accordion, but also in in the in his compositional sense. Uh, besides that, uh, he's an incredible human being. Uh, we are, again very easy to work with, uh, super relaxed. I think he's he had like a. I mean, every time we go in the Middle East, I feel he was he belongs there somehow. I see him totally comfortable, you know, wandering around Cairo or Beirut or Damascus or you name it. I mean, you know, his nickname being uh, Baba Ghanoush is not uh, doesn't come from void. And uh, and besides, I mean, besides his many abilities, his you know, as a producer, he helped me a lot with my albums. He produced uh, most, if not all, of my albums, uh, sitting on the mixing table together and uh, on the mixing board, and mastering all these tracks. You know, his ears helped me a lot. Helped uh, helped me a lot in shaping my own sound and my own albums. Uh, I feel incredibly lucky to have him in my uh, life as a friend again and as a musician. And uh, I know it's a relationship that is uh, continuing to last for a long, long time. So, here it is. <laughs>